This is my nociception level monitor to titrate my drugs, mainly my opioids. You just put them on like this. So then you take off this part and this is a sticky zone to put the, the fingers on the probe you take an angle of 30 degrees and put the finger in the probe and then you just uh, put the sticky part against the finger and make it uh, close up to the finger like this then you remove this part and you turn it around the finger of the patient, not too tight. So for the nociception level monitor, we first could enter the demographic data, although for the algorithm, it's not important. It's just a source of information if you want to use the data for research later. Now I press start and immediately the device starts collecting signals. We have four signals on screen the platysmogram, and there's a skin conductancy, a temperature wave, and a movement wave. And the system is now calibrating and we'll start with the first number. In the awake condition, this number is not very informative for me. I wait for using this device after the induction. I'm going to add it into the null as an event. It's a medication and we start some rocuronium. Uh, also, I will add as an event, as a stimulus, we now have some chin lift and we have some um, uh, positive mask ventilation that has started. It's a nasal intubation we need to do here, so my uh, colleague will do uh, laryngoscopy. I will go with to a remifentanil concentration of five because there's quite a high response on the null and there's no response on the heart rate and the blood pressure. It's important to note that the heart rate and the blood pressure did not change. So it's just the null who indicates that there's insufficient analgesia in this case. The null is now decreasing. Now I'm going to adjust my maintenance levels because we now have new information. There's not much stimulation going on and we see a low bis value. I'm going to first decrease my propofol because I think the bis value is much lower than I expected. So I'm now going to change my concentrations with steps of a half microgram per milliliter. And then I wait until my trend indicates that we have reached the new equilibrium and then I re-evaluate whether my BIS has responded or not. For the analgesia, there's a natural fluctuation with sometimes values between 10 and 25, which is a normal range for surgery. And of course, I expect incision in a couple of minutes, so I anticipate to the incision, and I will now not reduce my analgetic level because I expect an increase of the noxious stimulus. And now there's incision, so we are going to watch the response. You see some response on the null, but it's below, it's, it's just in target. So I'm very happy with this. Uh, we have now ongoing surgery uh, and we are seeing no high values on the null, but still some responsiveness. So that's good. I think with the monitors, we are safe to uh, safeguard the steady state. If there's a disruption because of a change in noxious stimulus, we will immediately pick it up and be able to adjust our uh, anesthesia ranges. The null monitor indicates for quite a long time that uh, there's an, an excessive analgetic effect. So I'm going to decrease my remifentanil now. Again, to lower values, I'm going to go in steps steps of one nanogram per milliliter. I already start anticipating to decrease my concentrations and the monitor, both the BIS and the null, 
are safeguarding the patient's condition. So if they suddenly start to increase, I know I have to stop my decreasing maneuvers and I have to, uh, and then I'm just at the edge of waking up the patient. So these are strategies that we can use to optimize the recovery. We are waiting for the remifentanil to uh, decrease and we are waiting for the CO2 the, of the patient to increase. And this balance will eventually lead to starting to breathe. Oh, there's now spontaneous respiration, it's now starting. So I think now is a good time to extubate the patient because there is some responsiveness on the bits. The patient is still a bit sleepy and in a sedated state, but there's some response to name calling. You see the smoothness of the extubation. Patient doesn't cough. There's no really stress at this time. And you see some increase in the null, but it's not going uh, through the roof. So uh, I think this is a very gentle extubation. If you want to maintain the data in the null monitor, you press stop and you can you confirm stop monitoring and then your complete case is saved to the hard drive and you can find your case back in the export function you will find a date and an hour where you can uh, through a USB port you can regenerate all the data